So in this problem, uh, we have the graph of y equals x plus 2 and y equals x over x minus 3 being shown in this diagram. Um, and they intersect twice. You actually see a point here of intersection and they intersect here at p. Part A, show that the x-coordinate of the point P satisfies the equation x squared take away 2x take away 6 equals 0. Now, when we've done this before, okay, when we've looked at other examples, um, you can work out where two graphs intersect by putting them equal to one another, okay, using simultaneous equations. That's exactly what Part A is asking us to do. So I'm going to put x plus 2 equal to the x over x minus 3. Because if um, the point P, the x coordinate point P, will satisfy this equation, okay? It is a result of this equation being solved. So if I multiply both sides by the x minus 3, okay, I'm going to need to expand this bracket out. So we get x squared uh, plus 2x take away 3x, so take away x, take away 6, and we've got the x on the right-hand side. And then if I subtract the x from both sides, we've got the required equation. Okay, so working out where these two, well, the curve and the line intersect, is identical to solving this quadratic equation, working out where this quadratic crosses the x-axis. So effectively, uh, I don't have another colour, uh, there's this point here, and this point here, and this parabola will cross the x-axis at those two points. Okay, that point and that point there. That's effectively what this is saying. So part B, show that the equation has a root between 3 and 4. This is using the change of sign method. So we're going to let f of x be the x squared take away 2x take away 6. And then I'm going to have to substitute in the 3 and the 4. So f of 3 is 3 squared take 2 lots of 3 take away 6. OK, so... What have we got there? We've got uh, 9, take 6, take 6, so minus 3. So that's negative, of course. And then f of 4, we've got 4 squared, take away 2 lots of 4, take away 6. So what's that? 16, take away 8, take 6, so minus 2. So that's positive. So as there is a change of sign and... Don't forget, the curve, or f of x, and f of x is continuous between 3 and 4. There must be a root between 3 and 4. Okay, and so that's how the change of sign method can be included in this type of problem.